everybody, thanks for clicking on this video which is really exciting because it means one thing and one thing only that you are interested in learning a little bit more about cloth diapers. My name is Emma and I live in the UK um, in London with my three children and husband. I've got a one-year-old, a four-year-old and a six-year-old and as you may have guessed from the title of this video I am very passionate about cloth diapers and I've used them on all three of my children. Currently my one-year-old is wearing them. They have changed my life and I'm hoping that after watching this video you may be interested in making a switch. I first got into cloth diapers when my six-year-old um, was was in my belly and I was pregnant and we were going to pregnancy classes and the teacher started talking about diapers and at the very end shoehorned in a little bit about cloth diapers well that was it and I was stayed behind for like another half an hour whilst everybody else left um, to learn more about them and ever since then I've just been going deep on cloth diapers and finding out all the good that they can do versus all the bad that disposable single-use diapers are currently doing in our world today. Not that I want to like scaremonger anybody with statistics but I think there's a few key things that I want to start off by sharing. So first up in the US alone, so just in the US, it's estimated that over 27 billion diapers, single-use diapers, are going to landfill every single year. Now that's just one year and that's just the US. In the UK the stat stands at, I'm not sure what it is annually, but daily we're sending 8 million diapers every day to landfill. You can't even imagine what these numbers are, they're just incomprehensibly huge. The other thing I want to share today is that how many years do we think it takes for one diaper to break down once it does make its way to landfill? I mean, we don't know um, because disposable diapers were only really around since the 1950s, but it's estimated that a single diaper can take around 500 years to decompose. Now that's a lot of diapers sitting in landfill, or if not in landfill, on the side of the road, up mountains, by lakes. It's amazing. I don't know about you guys, but wherever we seem to go, I always seem to see a discarded, dirty diaper somewhere, and it's, it's gross. Um, and if they're not in landfill, and if they're not tearing up our countryside, they're being incinerated. The crazy thing is, there is another option, and that's what I want to talk about today, the cloth diaper, which are amazingly becoming more accessible, more popular, and yeah, I'm here to tell you a little bit more about them. I'm going to briefly talk now about the three main benefits that I see to using cloth diapers. First up, we have the environmental benefits. Environmentally, they are wreaking havoc. I've already briefly touched on the huge volume of waste disposable diapers create, and that's before even going into the methane and greenhouse gases that they are giving off whilst being in landfill. Disposable diapers are, of course, partly made of plastic, which just makes them basically indestructible. So the next benefit I want to talk about is a financial benefit, and this is kind of tricky to calculate because it really depends if you're going to go for Walmart's own disposable diapers or the Honest Company diapers, they're wildly different in terms of price. But when it comes to cloth diapers, you're looking at about $300 for a complete set of cloth diapers. That's kind of medium range. Obviously you can get lots of different types of cloth diapers, I'm going to talk about that a little bit in a moment. Um, but for a set of cloth diapers, you're looking at a couple of hundred dollars. The amazing thing about cloth diapers is that they are, of course, reusable. So if you're going to have subsequent children, you can then reuse them with those, or you can sell them on. And reusable diapers have an amazing resell value. So once you're done using your lot for your child, if you're not going to reuse them within your own family, go ahead and pop them on Facebook Marketplace or eBay or Gumtree and make some of that money back. There is an amazing second-hand cloth diaper market. Lots of the diapers that I have are second-hand that I sourced on Facebook Marketplace. Before deep diving into the different types of diapers, the third and final benefit I want to mention is the health one. And what I mean by that is that disposable diapers, and this is what makes them so freaking absorbent, are full of chemicals. And when we put a disposable diaper onto our baby, we're putting those chemicals up close and personal with our baby's skin. Cloth diapers are natural. They're made from natural, natural materials like hemp or bamboo or cotton. That's what we want to be putting up against our baby's skin, not plastic, chemical-filled things. Okay, now that we've run through some of the reasons that I'm such a fan of cloth diapers and some of the reasons that I think you too should make the switch, let's quickly talk about the different types of diapers out there. 
As with so many things in modern society today, the jargon and vocab and lingo has kind of, I think, overcomplicated the whole issue. At the end of the day, a cloth diaper is two things, okay? It's something absorbent and something waterproof. That's what makes it a diaper. There's, I think, four different types of diapers. There's something called an all-in-one, which is one piece of material and has the absorbent and the waterproof piece sewn in. Another type is called a shaped nappy, and this is two parts. So you have a separate absorbent part and a separate waterproof part. And then there's a pocket diaper, which is something that you stuff absorbency into. The last type of diaper is something called a flat nappy, and this is just one piece of material um, which is absorbent and over which you put a waterproof pant. When it comes to my diaper washing routine, it's really, really simple. I collect everything into one big bin with a mesh net. When the bin is full, I take the net as one and I just pop it straight into the washing machine. From there, I do a quick rinse and then I just pop on a high wash and that's it. Once they're done, I hang them on the line outside. I, depending on the absorbency of the material, they might take different times to dry. The thing I would say about cloth diapers is that you can wash them by hand and I've tried this, but it takes a long time and I'm not fully sure that it really does good enough job. So I would say that you do need a washing machine. You don't need outside space, you can hang them to dry inside, it will just encroach on you a little bit. When it's winter here in the UK, I will always hang them inside and we kind of live around different clothes hangers. If you're fortunate to have some outside space, that is perfect. That's it guys, that's a very quick overview of cloth diapers. I really hope you consider switching up. It's not a case of all or nothing. You don't have to completely go from disposable diapers one day and overnight switch to cloth diapers. You could just replace one disposable diaper a day with a cloth diaper and you'd still be saving 365 disposable diapers going to landfill every single year. So give it a go, borrow some from a friend, buy one second hand, just trial it and see how it goes. I promise you it's not as complicated as some people will have you think. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and let me know how you get on on your cloth diaper journey.